Hey guys, welcome to another dynamics video. Today we're going to be solving a two-part dynamics question. The first of which asks, what normal force acts on a man who is standing on the earth? And the second part asks, how long would a day have to be for the normal force to be equal 1,460 newtons? And we're given the mass of the man and the radius of the earth. Okay, so you should go ahead and try to pause the video and solve these questions for yourself, and then come back when you've finished. Okay, so this first question might seem a bit weird because we usually just equate the normal force to mg and go on to solve the rest of the physics question. But if we want to find the exact value of the normal force, we're going to have to dig a bit deeper. So let's start by drawing a free body diagram of the forces acting on the man. There's the normal force upwards and the force of gravity downwards. And we might think that this man has no acceleration, but really, he's rotating around the Earth. We all are rotating around the Earth. So, he is going to have some centripetal acceleration. And this centripetal acceleration is going to be towards the center of the Earth, which is the center of rotation. So, it's going to be in the same direction of gravity, which means that gravity, which is causing the acceleration, must have a larger magnitude than the normal force. And we can use this to write our equation that the force of gravity minus the normal force, bigger minus smaller, is equal to ma, which in our case is mv squared over r, which is centripetal acceleration. So, looking at this equation, I can see that we have the force of gravity, we know that the normal forces are variable, and we know the radius of the Earth, but we don't know what the velocity is. So, let's think, how can we find what the velocity is equal to? And what we can do is we can say that the velocity is just equal to distance divided by time. That's what velocity is. And we know that this man is going to cover the distance of one circumference of the Earth in one day. That's how long it takes the Earth to rotate. So, we can substitute in the circumference of the Earth, which is 2 pi r for distance, and time in seconds is 24 hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds. And this is just equal to the velocity of the man. And we know everything in this equation. It's all just, in this uh, fraction, it's all just numbers. So we can just plug this into the velocity, and we can have one equation of just normal force at our variable, and we can solve that. So, let's start putting in numbers. So first I'll simplify the force of gravity to mg. The normal force is just my variable, it's still n. And mv squared over r becomes m times the velocity, which I just discussed, is 2 pi r over 24 times 60 times 60. So, 2 pi r over 24 times 3600 squared over r. And now, we can continue putting in numbers. So, mg is just 150 times 9.8 minus m equals 150 times 2 pi. And I don't want to take up too much space, but this r is just 6.4 times 10 to the 6 over 20, 24 times 3,600 squared over r, which, again, we know what it is. And we get that the normal force is equal to 1,465 newtons. And this, as we expect, is slightly less than the force of gravity. And what does this mean? What can we learn from this? Well, we can learn from this that when you're standing on a scale, what it's reading is the normal force, not the force of gravity. And that's because the force of gravity, you're acting on the Earth. And the scale is something that you're touching, so it's going to be normal force. And it's going to, and what, when you're standing on a scale, the number that you're going to get back is actually not your weight, but a number that's slightly smaller than your weight. So that's interesting. And now let's move on to the second part of the question which is how long would a day have to last for 
the normal force to equal 1,460. And this is actually very similar to our first question, except now we know what the normal force is, but we don't know what the time is. So, we can use the same equation, mg minus normal force equals mv squared over r. And we know what mg is, 150 times 9.8 minus the normal force, which we're given in the question, 1460 is equal to 150 times v squared, which is distance divided by time, and we, now we don't know what time is, it's not going to be just one day, because we're trying to change the length of a day. So time is now a variable. So, 2 pi r, again I'm writing r instead of 6.4 times 10 to the 6, but it's just the value, it's not a variable, over time, which is the variable that we're trying to solve for, all that over r, and now we have our equation with just time. So you can solve for time, and you'll get that the time is equal to 6.16 times 10 to the 4th seconds. And this really doesn't mean much to any of us, but just to let you know that this value is equal to approximately 17.1 hours. Okay, now just one word of caution about this question. I assumed that this man is standing on the equator. So, he's truly going 2 pi r over one day. But if you think about it, if a person was not standing here, but instead standing here, he would be going a much smaller distance around the earth in one day. So this change in normal force from weight is going to have a much smaller effect. So, if you want to be a bit uh, funny to your family, you can say that you weigh less or more depending on where you're standing on the earth. And although that's not true, a scale will say that that's true. So that's something interesting, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you for watching.